All right, guys, this may not be the most interesting video for everyone, but today I thought I would talk about the five pens that I carry and use the most. And these are the ones that honestly, like I write every day, write a lot at work. And so these are pens that see a lot of action and some of them are more used than others. But today I'm going to go over why I like each of them and why they are my five go to writing instruments or pens as a whole. So the biggest thing for me when it comes down to pens kind of starting off with like what affects this selection is that I really value very thin, very agile, and very lightweight pens. I would say about the only exception to this is this brass pen here. And it's kind of more just because I like brass, but still it is very thin and reasonably lightweight. So that's the biggest thing for me when it comes down to pens. I like very thin, very minimalistic, you know, low drag kinds of pens as a whole. So that really has largely affected my selection. Now let's jump into what they are. So these guys are not really in price and most of these guys are actually the same price, but this guy is a Sharpie pen and this guy just is a basic like kind of Sharpie pen. We'll go over it more in just a little bit. Then we have the smooth precision pens uh, V2.1, I believe. Um, I believe that's what it is, but it is a V2 for sure. And then we have the Big Idea Designs tie click pen. Then we have the V2 original um, Ultimate Survival Gear, I believe it is, USG tie bolt is this guy. And of course it is in brass, so it's not titanium, but it's still called the tie bolt. And then we have the Vault Can. Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember which Vault Can pen this is, but it is Vault Can, as you guys can see there. It's kind of like Vulcan, but Vault Can. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this is also a titanium bolt action pen. So I have quite a few titanium bolt action pens here, or I have quite a few bolt action pens here, but that's because I do like that setup pretty well. So first off, this is probably one of the pens that sees the most use with me. And this is a Sharpie pen. And primarily these are what I use at work. And the primary reasons why that is, is first off, they're cheap, they're easy to replace. And I don't feel bad at giving these to people if they need something to write with. I'm obviously not going to give them a 100 plus dollar pen. I'm not just gonna loan those out. So I don't even carry these guys at work just because it's too high of a risk for me to lose them or for them to get walk off. So definitely those don't see any like action in work, so to speak, but these Sharpie pens do. And especially what I like about these Sharpie pens is they really do not walk off because a lot of people hate using capped pens or pens that you have to uncap to use. And that is probably its biggest drawback. But the other reason why I do really like these Sharpie pens and why I recommend them to a lot of people is that these are essentially like an ultra, ultra fine tip Sharpie marker. And so what that means is these are actually felt tip. It's kind of hard to see because this one's pretty worn down. Like this is one that I've kind of thrown away, but um, these are felt tipped. So what I really like about these, especially in my job, is a lot of the time what I'm doing is writing things down that I will go chart on a computer later. So when I'm writing those things down on a piece of paper, I may not have like a good backstop or clipboard or something to put pressure down. And if you know, or if you've ever written, you know most of the time with most pens, it requires pressure to get the pen to write. So if I don't have good pressure, these Sharpie pens will actually continue to write really well. Now it may not be the most legible thing if you're not able to put adequate pressure down, but you can still write things down. So that's the biggest reason why I like these. They're cheap and they work really well without needing like any form of pressure. They will literally just, you contact a piece of paper and it will write down. Um, yeah, so that's the biggest reason why I like this guy. Now, next up are the line of more expensive EDC pens. So the first one up is the Smooth Precision Pens V2.1. V2 and this guy is one of my favorites just because it is super, super lightweight, but also it is extremely smooth. Like this is legitimately one of the smoothest bolt action pens out there, I have to say hands down. So if you ever get the chance to try these guys out, they are crazy smooth. And once again, what I really like is they are very, very thin, very agile, and they have good jimping or kind of good traction here, a uh, good milling on the titanium. The super lightweight, super smooth action. I mean, it's one of those things where you don't even have to think about it. You just flick and it's literally down and then you can just bump it back 
and it's retracted. So as far as bolt action pens go, this is probably one of the most refined uh, versions and I really, really like it. Um, now next up is my Big Idea Designs tie click pen and this one I honestly don't carry as much as I used to and that's because I really like the idea of a click pen but an EDC when this thing is in your pocket and this just goes for generally any click pen um, <clears throat> but when you have any click pen they get bumped you know if say you sit down this will get depressed and what I was finding a lot is that this was getting accidentally depressed like this and then when this is sitting in your pocket you know like hitting on the inner fabric of your pocket it dries out the ink and makes it really hard to use when you actually pull it out and need to write so while I do like this pen quite a bit I like it in theory a lot and it is once again titanium super lightweight click action is great and one of the cooler things about this big idea designs is that it has this highly adjustable um, kind of like collar system so you can see that you can screw this in a lot and you can actually see that like the uh, pen, pen tip was coming out so it's highly adjustable to the size of ink refill that you want to use but uh, yeah those are some really cool things I just don't like the, the click design because it accidentally deploys and once again it's not necessarily something that like is against big idea designs it's just the nature of click pens so next one up and one that sees a bit more action than that guy and what I was previously using before my v2 smooth precision was the ultimate survival gear v2 and this is essentially one of the predecessors to this guy here and some of the things I like about this one is it is slightly thinner than the newer models so it is as you can see there just a little bit thinner it's not much thinner but it is super super thin in hand and that's part of the reason why like this is brass but i still like to carry it because of its thin profile it still makes it feel overall pretty lightweight now it is understandably heavier than titanium uh, just because brass is a heavy metal but it is for what it is it's still pretty lightweight and the action is still pretty good now once again this is an earlier model so it's not as refined in its bolt action but it's by no means bad it is definitely super refined the only thing that i really dislike about the bolt action is um pushing it back is definitely a little bit of a hiccup like there's quite a bit of a kind of lock here holding it so it's not always the easiest and of course with this guy there is no like traction so it's not necessarily impossible but uh, yeah definitely not easy one thing i will note too that i think is worth pointing out about both the smooth and the ultimate survival gear pens that i wish more bolt action pens would be like is incorporating the bolt action into the clip and what this ultimately means is that if the bolt action is the clip and this is sitting in your pocket it highly lessens the chance of accidentally deploying in your pocket because the clip is the bolt action so unless the clip moves you're not going to have any deployment or it's not going to accidentally lock so that is one really big advantage to these that a lot of people i think look over but that's probably my favorite part of the smooth precision pens and the older ultimate survival gear pens okay last one up is the vault can and this guy is really cool it is once again a bolt action it is not the smoothest but it is still perfectly fine it's definitely like on the same level as this guy here so not like as refined but still perfectly usable um, as you can see here like no issues but uh, this one just has a really awesome design to it because it is titanium it is pretty darn lightweight it is similar in a lot of ways to the other pens but like I said I like it because it's overall pretty thin pretty minimalistic now this one does kind of uh, walk the line like these are all pretty much just pens but this one's a little bit more of a tactical pen you have the glass breaker slash pressure point piece here in the back uh, kind of cap area if you will but um, overall just a, a good functioning pen and no problems once again super lightweight because it is titanium um, and I do like these kind of milled out sections one for aesthetics and two once again they make the pen a little bit lighter weight because there's just no material there so pretty cool it does let you see the uh, kind of ink refill in there albeit not too clearly but you can kind of see it and you can see just a little bit of the action up there so pretty cool but overall um, once again very comfortable to write with as you can see too there's definitely a trend in design that I like as far as the milling pattern goes some people are a fan of you know more fancy kind of 
patterns with their pens and that does make them look cooler but this is like purely function for me and so that's why i've chosen the pens that i choose so anyways guys those are the five pens that i write with the most as always god bless and i'm